awesome doodle family, it's Tammy. I am here with Midge and Mix Litter of F1B Miniature Bernadoodles. These guys are almost five weeks old and they are doing so good. They're so sweet, they're so funny, they're so happy. They're all developing just as we would hope they would. Um, they're all perfect, they're just wonderful. This is my favorite, favorite age of puppies, this five to six and a half weeks old. Um, before they start to get really hard work, um, when they're still just fun little cute babies. Uh, you probably noticed some changes in here this week. They get their food, which they really, really like. Um, they have their litter box, which they're getting better and better at. It takes a little bit of time. They will have a different toy in here most days. Like today we have the Jungle Gym. Uh, yesterday we have the Slide. They love all of those. They just have so much fun with them and it really just stimulates their little minds and brains and opens up different pathways in their brains. So those are, they're, they're fun for them, but they also serve a purpose. Um, so this coming week, uh, they will get their first baths. They had little mini baths yesterday because they're kind of messy eaters before pictures. But this week they'll get full head to toe baths. They got another nail trim, which they tolerate really well. Um, they will get an expanded play area again this week. They just need to get a little better at the litter box. You don't want to have them have too much room to where they're comfortable going potty everywhere. So once they, they're getting pretty good at the litter box, but once they've pretty much got it down, then we're going to expand their play area again to give them more room to run around. So with the play, with the, um, the litter box, and this, this week we'll add a crate in here also. But with the litter box and the crate, we're really trying to reinforce a few things with the puppies. With, we're trying to reinforce that there's three different areas in their lives. There's going to be the area where they go potty, the area where they sleep, and then the area where they eat, or eat and play and run around. So um, we just kind of want to ingrain those three areas into them so that you can teach them that the potty area does not intersect with the other two areas in their life. You know the eating and the sleeping areas, they're going to kind of intermingle a little bit, but you want them to really learn. Dogs like to be clean anyway, so we want them to really learn that that potty area needs to be completely separate from the other two areas. And that really gives you a head start on potty training if we can reinforce that because they, they want to have their potty area separate, so if we can really let them know this is where you go potty, you don't go potty where you play, you don't go potty where you eat or sleep, they really will strive to not go potty anywhere else. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? They're eating really well. Uh, we're doing the softened puppy food. They're drinking really well. Midge, you'll see her in here less and less. She pops in and pops out kind of at will, uh, but she, she'll be in here less and less because they just don't need her quite as much. They really learn a lot from each other in this stage, so you will see them playing together. You see it looks kind of wild, but that's good, and then, you know, they kind of, they just learn from each other. They learn some inhibitions. They just learn some social behavior from each other at this time. They actually learn a ton of social behavior. This is really an important development time for them to learn some manners from their siblings and from mom. So it's really kind of fun to watch. They've gotten so much more coordinated over the last week. It's so fun. They really play with their toys now. Like they'll pick up their toys and carry them around. You'll see them this week really play with their gym. They love things like their gym. Um, anything that they can play with, that they can growl at, that they can pull and bite. They love those things. Um, so it's really a fun week to watch them. Um, yeah, so you'll see the crate come into here, uh, and you'll see a lot of them will just nap in that. We don't shut the door to it. We leave the door open so they can kind of go in and out as they want. Uh, it just becomes a comfortable space for them. When we uh, clean their play area once or twice a day, we put them in a crate kind of out of the way, and then they're in there for a half an hour to 45 minutes. When we bring them out, you'll always see us put them in the litter box, and we do that because usually after a puppy wakes up from a nap, and they always fall asleep in the crate, they have to go potty. So we put them right in the litter box just to reinforce that, okay, here's where you go potty. Uh, and they, you know, probably half of them will go potty right in that litter box as we're doing it. Um, but yeah, it's a fun week to watch the puppies. This is when they really start to become little dogs. Huh. Well, we hope you're having a great week. We hope you're having fun watching them. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Goofballs. Well, buddy, at least you've got your rear end over there. Good job. That's some good aim there, mister.
All right. 